be here to speak to people from all over the globe. I'm excited. Thank you, Ray, for that um, sweet but powerful training that you gave us. Uh, excited to hear live from you and all other speakers coming. Thank you so much, Charles Tambo, for making this uh, possible. I am really, really, really excited to have this here. Okay, so, Mr. Charles, I would like to share... Yeah, I can. I can see. I can see. Yes. Yes, please. Ah. Uh, so. Just click on share. Click on the screen. Yes. Yes. Trying to do that right now. Okay. So today I was invited to talk about um, my journey, how I've been able to build uh, this team of one hundred and fifty thousand people share my recruiting tips i'm still trying to get it up get my screen up hello mr charles are you there with me have you clicked on share yeah trying to have you clicked on share i'm yeah, trying if to you click on share you will see share your screen is is i i, I, I guess it's hanging let's let like, why i'm trying to do okay i think it came up now and then went off again why we are trying to to do that i, I would Go ahead. Okay. So, like I was saying, I was uh, invited to talk about the tips I used to build um, my team. Good. I think it's coming up. It's trying to come up, so I'll share, and you're going to see the bullet points. I'll love you to to see it so that. Yeah. Click on the screen. Okay. Let's follow the instructions here. Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, hold on, everybody, so that. All right. Good, good, good. Can you see it? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. What are you? What are you seeing in front of you? Just hold on a bit. Okay, still seeing you. All right. Good. I think I, I, I have got that. What, 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 is, what is the instruction in front of you so that I can guide you through? No, hold on. It's, it's coming up. Or well, Zangin is coming up. Okay, so like I was saying, um, I always say recruiting is a skill. It's a skill that you have to learn. Everybody can learn it. It's not, uh, you don't wake up and become a guru. It's up, okay. So trying to navigate to the next page. Oh, God bless you. Yeah, so we are on. So like I said, it's, there is no um, master. Somebody, nobody woke up and became a master of recruiting. So it's something you can learn. I joined the industry not knowing anything about network marketing, but I've been able to build a team of 150,000 members in five years. And not just members, members that are duplicating their top earners, people that have built uh, leaders. Okay, I'm in Nigeria, so I, I will talk in, in Naira. If you can do your conversion, people that are earning seven figures, I have leaders earning seven figures weekly. In my company, we earn weekly, okay? So this is it's massive. What did we do to get here? That is what we are here to share today. What I'm here to share today with you. And he has already introduced me. So let me introduce myself again. My name is Ahoman Badue Madufora. Also, how to build a solid team. You can get it on my website or Amazon. Um, I've won multiple awards in my company. Global leader with over 150,000 members. I'm an entrepreneur. I have other businesses for people that feel that our industry, you can combine it with any business that's not true. You can run your personal business and still do your business, uh, your network marketing business very well. This is a beautiful profession. Why do we do it? We do it because it's going to shorten the curve for you. It did that for me. What would have taken you uh, 10 years to achieve? You can actually achieve that in few years. In fact, if, like Ray said, if you put in effort, you can actually achieve so much 
he has actually retired can you can you beat that retired to go into coaching so you when we say you can end while you sleep build the team and you end while you sleep so it's beautiful now i'm going to tell you a little bit of uh how i joined the business i've shared this so many times like i, I told you i i have my own, own company i only went to print a flyer a flyer about my company and when i got there person printing ended up telling me about my company and I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not interested. So if we are talking about recruiting. If you're trying to recruit and you get no, please don't get discouraged. I said, no, 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 I'm not interested. Uh, because I felt it was about hawking products. No, 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 please don't tell me that. But he ended up sending me a website. He ended up sending me um, uh, links, photos about people that have qualified for things. And I got back to my office, sat down and did a research, went through the website. And I was interested. It was, it was amazing. That was how I got on board. And since then, I've not looked back. In fact, I went back the next day to sign up myself. Nobody convinced me. Okay. But now we are talking about recruiting. What is recruiting in network marketing, you may say? For me, I love to break it down. I love to make things simple so everybody can understand. In simple terms, I would say it means getting people to join in your business, join your business. That is what I can term recruiting. And like I said, recruiting is a skill and must be learned. You don't wake up and become a master recruiter. It's not possible. You learn it, you practice, and you become a success in it. Okay? So... What are the recruiting tips that helped me? I have only 30 minutes. I'm, I'm just going to make it short so that you can get um, the much you can in this session. I know that there will be other times we'll talk more about this. Okay, number one. What are those things that helped me get to this level where I am? That helped me become a top earner? That helped me climb very fast, okay, in my company and helped me build leaders globally? Okay, I don't have team only in my in my country no i have team in different continents number one i say connect on purpose connect on purpose what does that mean understand that this this recruiting is about people it's about human beings so you must be intentional about building relationships for me if i'm going out maybe i'm i'm going to um see someone I see the person as a potential client, a potential customer, a potential downline. Okay? That's how I see it. I don't um, go meeting somebody and then I'm just going casually. Even if we, we just went for a drink, we went, as long as I know the person is not in my business, I have it in mind that this could be a potential customer. This can be a potential downline this can be a potential team member okay so when you're connecting with people whether physically or online connect on purpose don't just do things because you want to do them okay so understand that recruiting is about people it's about connections so be intentional about building relationships okay number two and this takes me to number two this was my two over 85 percent of people personally recruited by me came from social media in fact uh i've practically used one social media to do a whole lot is uh recently i started branching out to other uh, platforms i used facebook to recruit so many people into my business and also taught my team to do the same and they've duplicated in many ways okay so below uh, uh tips you should note when you're using social media using social media to recruit ray has given us some points i'm going to also mention some points number one i said have a good profile profile picture have a good profile picture and a clear bio stating what you do what do i mean some people their profile pictures on you're trying to recruit somebody remember your your facebook pages or your your instagram whatever you're using is like your cv you're not there people are coming to look for you so because you're not there, what they see is what they will judge. Or maybe you send somebody, like he taught us uh, some scripts, you can use to send somebody in, but you just say, oh, I ha I'm into this thing. I don't know if, if you are interested, you could, uh, whatever. If not, no big deal. And the person goes through your timeline and then is not tallying with what you're saying. Look somehow. So number one, if you want to use social media to recruit, you must have a very good profile picture. In fact, go and take a professional picture. Go to a studio, take a picture. And have a good profile picture. 
have a clear bio what is bio if you go to your profile setting you're going to see where they ask you to um put uh a little about yourself maybe your website those things if you have links put them there these days even your 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 whatsapp your your phone number you can create a link with it short link and put it there if you, even if you don't have a website if you have instagram get your instagram put it on your facebook you go to your facebook and connect to your page just be visible state what you do some people you go to their bio what you see is a uh, wife of a handsome man what's that you're a business person and you're, you're using your, your social media um, page to do business. And you, you, you are a woman and you say, uh, God-fearing and, and wife, mother of three kids. Is that what you're there for? We understand that you, you are a wife to a beautiful uh, or, or handsome man. We know that. But if you're using your social media for business, your, your bio should state what you do. Okay. If you are a coach, you put it a, that you are a coach. If you create, it help people um, get residual income. You write it there. If you are an author, state it. People need to read and know what you are doing. Okay, it's not that you go and write your company name everywhere. No, that's not what I mean. But if you are a lifestyle coach, you are this, you are that. You know, state it there and put your links. And number uh, uh, next point there is aim to educate, inspire, entertain. Your posts on your social media should have should aim to educate people, should aim to inspire, should aim, aim to entertain. In inside this inspiration, education, entertainment, you pass message about your business. People follow people for what they get from them. If you follow, uh, if if you're very conversant with social media, you love to say online. You see that comedians. They have a lot of following. Comedians have a lot of following. Why do I say so? Check it out yourself. They are entertaining people. People love to be entertained. I didn't say you should become a comedian. No. But don't be too so strict on your, your social media that people get scared and run away. No. Once in a while, you share stories that will make people feel um, happy. Pe stories sell. Tell stories. And people gravitate to you. Inspire people. Educate people. I've, uh, in one of my trainings, I, I told people that give value. Give value. That's the next one. The next point says give value daily via your post. This will bring people to you. And when people like you, they will listen to you. When they trust you, they will do business with you. When you keep giving value, people will naturally gravitate to you. Okay? If you're a doctor, for example, you can decide maybe on Wednesdays or a pick a day and be giving uh, tips about uh, how to, people can maintain their health. It doesn't have to be about your own network marketing business. We, we are all di in different professions before we became network marketers. Many, many people, at least I know in my company, okay? So you can, you can decide to give value. If you, if you are into sports, you can post about sports, uh, how people can, most women have issues with their, their belly fats. Now, you, you are into sporting and you have... Uh, what you can do to help people you can share that tips it will make people that are, are looking for that to come to you by the time they come to you they now see what you're doing before you know they can they will ask you what is this thing you're talking about and from there you've got to somebody so give value daily via your post it will bring people to you avoid spamming people avoid spamming people you don't have to talk about your business all day no you can post different things, share stories about family, personal life, business, different things. So avoid bumping people every day. It's your business. You are talking only about your business. You share your products everywhere. No, no, no. That's not the way to go. Or you jump, the people that you, you jump into people's inbox and then begin to talk about, come and join this one. That's spamming. They will block you. And when they block you, you lose the potential client, their clients or prospects, whatever it is that you call, call them. Okay. So avoid spamming people. Rather, share value and let people uh, get to you. You can also do code prospecting like Ray Dot. Uh, the script he gave is okay. But before you do that, for me, if you you should know um, the people you go to. Before I chat up people, I, I like to go through their profile. If I don't know them, I just go through their timeline, see what they are doing. People that are already into businesses, that they are doing something related to business. They would love to listen to what will give them money. Some people that you see that they are just there for fun or whatever, before you know, they, you know, even though you don't prejudge, but it helps me. It helps me. It's like a guide, okay? 
Now, show up daily and be intentional. Be consistent and be intentional. You must show up daily. If you want to use social media as a recruiting um, tool, you must show up daily. It's not something that you, you, you do today and the next day you are off. No! You must show up. Even when you don't feel like it, you must be there. to Show, show up every single day. Show up. If you're not consistent, what will happen? The people that are actually supposed to reach out to you will leave you and follow those who are consistent. That's just it. You must be what? Intentional. Know why you're there. Connect on purpose. Your, your post must be on point. Everything you're doing, have, have it at the back of your mind. Even if you're playing, have it at the back of your mind that you're there for business. Then the next point, uh, use your real name as your social media name. Whether it's Facebook, Instagram, it helps. Why should you do this? Because it help, makes it easy for people to search you out. Okay, my name is Ahoma Badoe Madufro. If I go and open my Facebook page as uh, Miss, Miss T, Miss P, she's this, she's that. Uh, 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 what? They, some people, they will call Munye uh, Munye Peter. You know, this is my language. Munye means wife, wife of Peter. What's that? There are some people that have been looking for you, maybe um, colleagues, people that you, 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 your classmates, people you went to school with, they can't even find you. And maybe they've heard from somebody that you're into this kind of business and they actually want to connect with you and join, but they can't connect with you because you've written something else as your, your, your name. You should use your real name as your Facebook name or other social in fact it's better for you to even use your name across all platforms so it's once it, somebody searches it even on google you come out okay and they can reach and connect with you the truth is that many people actually need our business many people need who doesn't like good lifestyle everybody likes good lifestyle okay so if they like good lifestyle they're actually looking for it don't have in mind that oh there's there, there, there are no prospects that's a lie there are human beings Everywhere, every day, people are looking for better life. People are looking for ways to increase their income. People are looking for uh, how they can actually get um, opportunity to travel, vacation. So people are there looking for you. And I say, bear in mind that you are a brand. You are a brand and build your online brand intentionally. You are a brand. Okay? So you build your online brand intentionally. Now, if you're using social media to, to recruit, like I said, it's, it's actually uh, a very broad topic. We cannot exhaust it. Thank God that um, Ray did uh, some things on it, and I've been able to also give you some. So the truth is that you can confidently build your, your network marketing business using social media solely. That's the truth. Um, it's good to do physical seminars. I do physical seminars, even though since uh, the pandemic, I've not really been doing uh, physical seminars. You could go out, give out your flyers. That's beautiful. But social media can actually help you get people. But if you are doing it wrong, you won't be able to achieve that. That's why I've given you these tips. There's more. I do trainings on that. We we'll definitely talk about that. And number three, okay, it was number two. I was deliberating. Use social media, and I gave you points. What you should do if you give value using your social media platform and you you of course follow up people that you talk to or you reach out to there's no way and you show up consistently there's no way you won't get people okay number three never prejudge what do i mean if you are recruiting and you prejudge like you look at somebody and you say oh this person i'm not sure this person is going to do well in my business that's not correct don't say, I'm not sure this person is going to do well. I'm not sure he's going to bring in the kind of PVs I want. I'm not sure he's even going to say yes. Who told you that? Never prejudge. You never know who will end up being your, your firebrand leader. You never know. So don't prejudge. The people that you may even feel that when they come in, they're going to bring in the fire, they may end up disappointing you. That's the truth. So never prejudge. That's why in my, in my team, uh, when I'm recruiting, I keep my mind open. Because I know this business is for everybody. I've seen people that were nobody and they became big shots in the business from nowhere. Okay? So don't prejudge. Number four, disassociate yourself from the outcome of prospecting. If you're recruiting, see, it's okay to get no's. It's very okay. No is okay. It's okay for you to get no. In fact, the more no's you get, it means you are getting there. Let them say no. Let them reject you. Rejection is part of it. Don't be scared. 
let them say no to you you go back again you heard the the last speaker he said he went went for 20 no's a day so you can imagine how many people he's speaking to to get 20 no's maybe you talk to 100 uh 50 people and then he will not get 40 no's or even get 45 you may you might talk to 10 people like that and you get 10 no's it doesn't matter just keep talking keep showing the the truth is that every no is not a no it's not every no that is a no. There are some people, they, they are no simply means I'm not ready for it now. You can check back later. Some people, they are just scared. But they will stay by the side and be looking at you. And they will be saying, well, this person, oh, she's progressing. I've had people, had people that in the past they refused to join me. But when they kept looking at me, watching my progress, they ended up joining me. Okay? So, don't think that every no is a no. Do not neglect follow-up. Follow-up, prospect follow-up, doing prospecting is very important. Follow up. I was discussing with Charles the other day. I think there was a day he said, I'll keep following you up, except you are dead. <laughs> he joined my team. In fact, it's very serious to follow up. So follow up people, your prospects. Uh, some uh, trainers will say have a prospect list where you write down names, maybe people that you've chatted before that reached out to you so that you, you follow them up and find out, okay, you said you're going to join next week. Why? I haven't seen you. I followed up somebody the other day. She said, I changed my mind. She's in another company. She told me she wanted to move. And uh, told me her reason. I said, no problem. I'm waiting. She said she would join April. I waited for her. She didn't join. So, <clears throat> May, I chatted and she said, I decided to stay back and build because I read your book. I said, oh, beautiful. Now, go ahead and build. There are some people like that. Some people might say no because at that point, they do not have, feel, they feel they do not have the time. Actually, I don't have time is a lie. We tell ourselves. If people tell you no because they feel they don't have time, that's a lie. We all have time just depends on what you are prioritizing okay you can you can work i have people in my team that are busy executives working nine to five and they are doing well in their network marketing business so you can actually put in one hour two hours a day in your business and you succeed thank god for the internet thank god for social media you can actually stay in your house just use your phone and send messages to people and you get people joining your business Everybody needs better life. Everybody needs the good lifestyle. Everybody needs... The truth is that we all need additional income. Even if you're a billionaire, you still need additional income, at least to help people. So they are all there. They need it. Okay? So you need it. Don't just depend on your salary and say, I don't have time. No, I can't join or I can't, can't do it. No, 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 no. Please don't do that. Number five, have good knowledge of your company's profile. Benefits accruable from the company. That is compensation plan. You don't really need to know the whole compensation plan before you start. No, I didn't know that before I started. I read, but I didn't understand. All the, you don't need to know the whole mathematics before you start. No, it's not like, just know the basics. The basics. Benefits. If they ask you, my company can give you this, 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 this is what you can get. Fine. Know it. The profile. Who is the co company? You can say at least the basics. And you must know your products or your services, okay? Depending on the company you are in. You cannot just begin to prospect people and then you say, oh, I have this and I'm doing, I would like to send you information. And the information, you don't even know it. They ask you a question, you don't know it. That's wrong. You won't get people that way. You won't become that master recruiter you want to be. You must be knowledgeable. So I'll be able to answer uh, basic questions. There are some people that are funny. They just begin to prospect. And... Maybe their upline has sent them information, what to read, what to do, or the videos to send. They didn't even go through the video, and the person asks them a question. They start running back to the upline, please answer this for me. It's not bad to ask your upline to give you tips or answers, especially when um, it's a techie question or something you can't answer. But you must have basic knowledge so that you'll be able to answer basic questions. When you, you have good knowledge, you become more confident to share your information with um, your prospects, okay? Number six, always have your marketing materials handy. What do I mean by marketing materials? Your flyers, your product samples, your, your complimentary card. Always have them with you. If my card, just, no matter how the level I've reached in my business, anywhere I'm going, I have it. Sometimes I even have a tag I put on my uh, clothes. You see me going out, I have something on it. Why am I doing that? Because somebody might see that and then say, oh, what's this? And I begin to explain. I have flyers handy. If you appreciate my skin, oh, wow, it's actually my company, it's my amazing product. I give you flyer. My phone number is there. My contacts are there. And they will reach back. Not all will reach back. Some might even throw away the flyer and another person will pick it up and then get back to you. Always have those things handy. Handy. Product samples, you can have them. You don't necessarily need to pack it everywhere. No, if, if you don't have product, you can have product flyers. 
have something handy you can always show somebody always be ready you never know where you meet that uh prospect that will blow your business okay be confident enthusiastic and energetic why do i say be confident prospect can notice lack of confidence from afar prospects can notice lack of confidence from afar nobody wants to join a leader who is who lacks enthusiasm a leader who is just doing it for doing sake nobody wants to join somebody whose mouth is shaking nobody wants to join a leader who cannot lead them everybody wants a leader who they can run to for support a leader who can say move and they move a leader who can push them so if you're presenting your business and you're not confident there is no enthusiasm you're not even happy presenting it nobody will join you whether you're doing it physically or using social media so if you want to become a master recruiter you must be confident in fact when you're doing physical you know a lot of people get stage fright but if you're confident even when you're making mistake you will continue saying cover it because you're confident you understand just be energetic when people see you're happy presenting this to your business they'll be like exactly what why is this person excited they want to know this person is always happy it's one of my downline said in fact why she joined me is because she went through my my pro, my page or the day she wanted to sign up she kept going through going through and she just saw the the enthusiasm she just saw the energy she just she just said this is the person i want to sign up with and she signed up with me she chatted me up and then signed up so you must be confident you must be bold you know enthusiastic be happy be the where the energy goes the money that is where money flows okay so put your energy into what you're doing let people know that this is not just a roadside thing no one wants to follow a leader that lacks confidence i've told you that number eight never sound begly uh when prospecting don't beg people to join your business that's wrong you will not get people that way you have gold in your hands i've never seen someone who bought 24 karat gold um watch expensive uh diary or diamond and is begging a friend let me let me take for example if i have a friend my friend is mary and i i go call mary mary please i just came back from dubai and i bought this diamond it's so expensive mary please can you accept this diamond gift from me i said that's who, who does that you never beg people to accept expensive gifts you will be proud and hold it and say oh mary See what I got from for you from Dubai. It's quite expensive uh, necklace. Mary will jump. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much, Ahoma, for giving me the gift. And then, what is the difference? You have gold in your hand. Your network marketing business is gold. You're going to prospect somebody, and then you're, you're talking this way. And hey, please, uh, hey, there's this thing I'm doing. I know you have money, but I don't know if you like it. Please, will you check it? What's that? No. Never sound begly. Don't beg anybody. Go out there and show them. That's why you should also use third-party tools. If you don't know how to talk, use videos, use voice notes. Use You can ask your, your uplines for the ones they use in your team. Okay? Share, let, let the videos and the links and whatever talk for you. You can also organize seminars, WhatsApp seminars, invite your pro, uh, uplines or whatever. They can <clears throat> help you speak. Nobody will take you seriously if you're begging. That's why some people, they say, oh, I've been talking and nobody's joining me. You've been talking, it, saying it wrong. That's why nobody's joining you. Never beg anybody to join your business. Show them the opportunity. Let them decide. And if you say it right, believe you me, they will join you. Okay? So present with boldness. Number nine, always think about your prospect needs and prospect them from that angle. See, there is no one size fits all uh, kind of script. That's why I, I don't really like using scripts. There is no one size fits all. If I'm talking to a parent, the way I talk to a parent is not the same way I talk to a young guy. The way I talk to a young lady is not the same way I talk to a man. They all have different needs. If I see a young guy, his problem at that point in time might just be to make some good uh, cash. So that he can buy clothes and buy shiny things or maybe invest in a business that will help him um, be grounded before he gets married. If I meet a young lady, a young lady might need extra income to buy good cream, buy good hair, take care of herself. I meet uh, a parent, a parent, uh, his or her problem might be that the parent wants um, the, the, to get additional income for their kids or wants opportunity to travel 
have vacations that they couldn't afford, but network marketing can help them afford that. Some people just want to have time freedom. They want to navigate from um, 9 to 5 to being their own boss. Okay? Some people, their problem is health issue. You move from that angle. That's why it's good to at least try to get to know people. Social media helps give us tips. That's why I go through people's profile. I go through their timeline, try to get find their interest, try to see, oh, this person loves his family, always posting about his family. This person uh, um, is in the hospital, might need help. You know, when you, when you, if it's somebody you know one on one, too, you try to know who the person is, or you, you, might, you might know what the person does, the person's uh, inclination does, the person, uh, what, what do you think that this person might need from the benefits of your company? And you prospect them in that angle, prospect them from that angle. When you do that, life will be easy for you, and you get more yes than no. But when everybody you see, you're telling the person you qualify for car, you're qualified for, you have big money. Not everybody needs car. Not everybody needs money. Different people with different needs. So tailor your prospecting based on the need of your prospect, and you have more yes than no. Number 10, I told you I'm going to give you 10 points. Number 10, don't just recruit, but sponsor. What do I mean? Now we're talking about recruiting, recruiting. Everybody, you're thinking of how to go and gather everybody and put in your team. I say, don't just recruit, but sponsor. Why would you do this? It will help you retain more people in your team and reduce the workload for you. By sponsoring, what do I mean? I mean, be there to guide your recruits. Ensure they get the right information to get started. Ensure they are trained, mentor them, motivate them, support them so that they can stand on their feet and run. Their win is your win. If you do this, you will get a solid team and of course a great career. If you cannot mentor people without developing yourself. You can't give what you don't have. That is why I loved one of the points raised by Ray. He said personal development is very key. Personal development is very key in recruiting. You can't give what you don't have. If you don't know about your company, for example, you can't uh, prospect somebody about the company. Now, you recruit people into, into your business. You don't even know benefits of the uh, company. You just went to them because you need points. You just saw somebody, hey, 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 and you just, you know, try to cajole the person into the business. And the person comes in, no training. You, do, you don't even have materials to give the person. You yourself, you don't even know your left from your right. You lose such people, they will drop. They will get frustrated and drop. And you keep recruiting, you keep recruiting, you keep going round and round. You can't have a team that will pay you residual income and help you retire early and wealthy. Don't do that. Don't just recruit. Make sure you sponsor. Sponsor means mentor, motivate, support, encourage them. It might not be easy. Some companies have um, training materials, we know. But no matter the training that your, your company has, make sure you, as a, a leader or somebody that is recruiting somebody, as a sponsor, you are there to guide your new recruits. This will help you have what? A solid team. Okay? I wrote a book called How to Build a Solid Team. If you want to get more points uh, about how to get have a solid team, you can order that's available on Amazon or on my website. And I said continuous uh, recruiting. Without a solid team, is meaningless. That's the truth. How will you keep recruiting? Today you recruit. The company just pays you sponsor bonus for that one. You recruit and you don't train them. Then they turn around and say, oh, it's scam. You, doing that will make you ridicular our industry. They'll just say, oh, it's scam. I don't like, like this. It's scam. It's scam. I didn't get anything. Why? You didn't even explain the business to them. You just told them when you come, you end. And they believed you. They joined your business and there was no problem proper training when they joined what happened they didn't see the money you promised them they will drop off so you go back to ground zero don't have anybody in your team you have uh, 100 members in your team all of them are inactive ask yourself how did you prospect them prospecting process must be right you must educate them right you must tell them what they are expected to do when they join of course it's a business nobody comes into the business folding arms and expect to earn it doesn't work that way so you must tell them the truth when you're recruiting you must show them that they are going to I mean, do something before they, they earn. That is part of the mentoring training and support. When they join in the business and they organize their own seminars, make sure you're there to support. You must not be everywhere at the same time. Fine, but make sure you, you teach this person. 
how to <clears throat> also teach his own downline and how that one by the time you you go three levels deep you trust this person to teach this person and this person to teach this person you see your team moving on autopilot it goes on its own you won't suffer again that's the truth so when you see people they are enjoying you say oh this person is lucky nobody is lucky the person did the right thing and that is how the person got to that stage so when you do the right thing you're going to succeed i've been able to give you 10 points let me go through the 10 points again so that for those that we are not writing you get i said number one connect on purpose number two use social media for social media i gave you bullet points what you should be doing on your social media number three never prejudge you never know who will end up being your firebrand leader number four disassociate yourself from the outcome of prospecting it's okay to get no don't get emotional when somebody says no you begin to cry be depressed no 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 that's not for every no that i say yes no that's the opportunity you move have good knowledge of your company's profile benefits and your products always have your marketing materials handy be confident enthusiastic energetic never sound begging when you're uh prospecting number nine always think about your prospect needs it's about them not you you are just the messenger not the message don't think about you what you gain what you gain no think about them to help you get more yes number 10 don't just recruit but sponsor this will help you retain more people in your team and reduce your workload and for information about how to build a solid team you can get this book written by me out of my five years experience of building my massive team how to manage your team how to if uh, basics about network marketing everything is here it's, it's a perfect guide for both old and new members you can get it on my website ahomambadiwe.com on amazon no matter wherever you are you can get it thank you so much everybody thank you charles for making it possible for us to have this training you can find me on facebook instagram youtube with the same name ahomambadiwe motherfucker i do what i teach like i said make sure you use your social media platforms well use your real name let people find you and follow you and they can connect with you never know when you get that super leader and make sure you are always consistent be there every day show up no matter what so that you will become that master recruiter you want to be and without a team there is no wealth no team no wealth if you are not a good recruiter a good team manager you will be frustrated in the business. That's just the truth. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Charles. I appreciate you. That's how, uh, that's how. I told you guys, it's, it's hot, hot, hot. She's, she just gave us what it is. What she does, everything she's doing in her business, that's what she does dish out to you guys. Recruiting challenge. You get it now. She mentioned the need for you to recruit on that pose. Uh, don't be begging. Uh, elevate the beauty of our industry, guys.